Clean My Mac 3, which was released today, is the latest and greatest version of what's been one of my favorite Mac utilities for years now. With version 3, Clean My Mac is growing from a utility app for removing junk or unnecessary files from your Mac to a full-fledged maintenance and health monitoring app. In this tutorial, we're going to look at the new maintenance functions built into Clean My Mac and how they work. So I'm going to click on Maintenance here in the Utilities section of Clean My Mac 3. In here are several tasks that you can choose to run. As I select each one, a summary is presented letting me know when or how often to perform the task. First are maintenance scripts and disk permissions. You might recognize repair disk permissions from the Disk Utility app on your Mac. This is the same thing, but with Clean My Mac, you can get it to run along with these other tasks. Both the maintenance scripts and permission repair should be used on a regular basis to keep your Mac running at its best. The next three items here refer to verifying the condition of hard drives within or attached to my Mac. I have a startup disk, which is the drive that OS X boots from, and two external drives. When this is run, if a problem is found with the external disk, it can be repaired. If there's an issue with the startup disk, I need to use a recovery partition or another Mac to perform the disk repair. The startup disk can't repair itself. Next is a really useful maintenance task for heavy mail app users. Mail seems to be slow loading messages or performing searches. This should improve its performance. It's also a good idea to run on a regular basis. The rebuild launch services task is only a troubleshooting measure, which means it only needs to be run if you're experiencing specific issues, like seeing incorrect file icons or if a file is opening in the wrong app. Remember though, any file can be assigned to open in a specific app by selecting it and pressing Command I for Get Info. Within this window is an Open With section where I can select the app that this file will open in. I can even set all similar files to open in that app. If your Mac's search performance seems slow, try to re index Spotlight. This can take quite a while though because it rebuilds the database Spotlight uses to search your entire Mac. I might only do this once or twice a year as regular maintenance. The DNS cache flush can fix connections or improve slow network performance. It's a good regular maintenance item. So all of these other than rebuild launch services and re-indexing Spotlight are good to include as regular Mac maintenance, which I like to do about once a month. Next, we're going to look at the new Clean My Mac dashboard, which can be accessed here. This gives you a quick overview of the current state of your Mac. I can see what's being stored on my hard drive and how much space is free. Below that is a view of the current memory usage on my Mac. Click Free Up, and if Clean My Mac can, it's going to create some more free RAM. Below that is a live view of how hard the processor in my Mac is working. If this is constantly running at 80% or more and not coming down, double click the CPU icon here to open Activity Monitor. This will display what app is using the CPU the most. One more new feature of Clean My Mac is a menu bar icon that gives you a similar view as the dashboard, but without needing to open the full app. Click the Clean My Mac icon here in the menu bar, and again I get a view of my hard drive, RAM usage, and my trash. Hover over the memory usage section and I can free up memory just as I did in the dashboard. Hover over the trash section to quickly empty the trash. If you have a MacBook, a battery charge and health indicator will appear here as well. Click the bottom button to launch the Clean My Mac app. As long as the Clean My Mac menu bar icon is active, 
If Clean My Mac finds an issue on your Mac that needs immediate attention, it will issue a health order. This can be for heavy memory usage, which can seriously slow down your Mac. Low SSD life if your Mac has a solid state drive in it. Critical battery health. Or if your hard drive fails a smart test, which might indicate that it needs to be replaced. And finally, high disk temperature, which can also damage your hard drive. If any of these things occur, Clean My Mac is going to notify you right away and recommend what to do to fix the issue. So those are the new maintenance and monitoring features in Clean My Mac 3, which are only part of the new features in this update. Clean My Mac 3 also has new iTunes and mail attachment cleaning options, along with privacy and extension utilities, which can enhance the security of your Mac. Click the link below to download Clean My Mac 3 and give it a try. Thanks for watching.